Hey there. In this lesson, we want to talk about referential integrity, an important concept in the relational model. So what's the definition of relational integrity? Sounds a little scary at first, but we'll work through it. Relational integrity says that a foreign key, if it is not null, must correspond to a value in the table where that foreign key acts as a primary key. A foreign key, if not null, and keep in mind that it's perfectly fine for foreign keys to be null in a certain set of circumstances, which you should have some familiarity with now, um, must exist, and we're going to get even a little more informal here, must exist as pk uh, for every value as fk. All right, so let's work through an example right from the entity relationship diagram. One of our favorite examples, employee works for a department. A given employee can work for at most one department, but a department can have working for it multiple employees and often does. Uh, keep in mind, participation here is optional on both sides, and we're going to do the mapped translation. What do we do? We say, okay, we can include the relationship with the end side entity, so it looks like this. And what we wind up with is department with D number, et cetera, and employee with E number, the other attributes related to the employee entity, and D number as a foreign key, right? Okay, so when can we have a null foreign key in this circumstance? So we have, we could have an employee value, we could have employee number 67, who's Joe Jones, and whose D number equals null. Brand new employee, doesn't yet work for a department, so there's no basis for linking him to any particular department, we enter his department as null. Nothing wrong with that. Doesn't violate anything related to referential integrity. Is not problematic. Can you ever have a primary key that's null? No, you cannot because primary key's job are uniquely is uniquely identifying every instance in a given relation from every other. Null does not get the job done there. Cannot happen. Foreign key, null value, perfectly fine. It will only happen for a particular set of circumstances and in particular translation techniques, obviously mapped is among them. I would encourage you to become familiar with which circumstances enable that and which ones don't, but we're not going to touch on it here. In any case, this is fine. What is not fine is the following. We've got an employee and let's say it's employee number 73 and that is Jose Williams and he works for department 17, only then we go over here to the department table and find out that department 17? No, there's no such department. So we have a record of Jose Williams working for a department number, yeah, 17, acting as a foreign key, that does not correspond to any primary key in the actual department table that exists. This situation obviously makes no sense. How can Jose work for department 17 if there is no department whose primary key in the department table is 17? Jose works for a mystery department. This situation violates, violates referential integrity. Okay, so here's a concrete example of assessing whether we have referential integrity or not. So do we have it here with these specific records? And how do we find out? Well, let's look. We know that the definition is that a foreign key, if it, if it is not null, must correspond. Well, here's our foreign key, as we mentioned before, department number in employee, because it references department number in department where we're acting as a primary key. So this references here. So how we assess whether it exists or not is making sure that each of these values has a corresponding value here. So let's find out. So Joe works for department one. Do we have a department one? Yes, we do. It's our finance department. We're in good shape. 
Maria works in Department 3. Do we have a Department 3? Yes, we do. We're in good shape. Lynn works in Department 1 with Joe. Do we have a Department 1? Yes, we mentioned. We do. We're in good shape there. And Tammy works in 2. Department 2, turns out, is the IT department. All of these values are corresponding successfully in the table where that value acts as the primary key. We have no problems with referential integrity. Hooray for us. Okay, so does the addition of Boris here create any difficulties? Does this violate referential integrity? No, because Boris has a department number of null. Boris is not yet assigned a department. So the fact that null does not exist in the primary key, that's not an issue. This is no problem with regard to referential integrity, no difficulty whatsoever. This situation, however, where we've added a sixth employee, Emil, is a violation of referential integrity. And let's look why. So Emil works for department number five. But five has no corresponding entry in the department table. So five is a mystery department. And this situation, do we have RI? If we have this situation here, then the answer is no, we do not because we have this mystery here. This is the, a violation of referential integrity. Our data uh, have some unanswered questions about them. We do not want to create circumstances where this arises. There you have an example of referential integrity in terms of concrete data values. So if you ever have a foreign key value that does not exist in the table where that value is acting as a primary key, you have violated referential integrity and you have a nonsensical situation. Now, next up, and I encourage you to watch the next video directly, is a elicitation of the circumstances under which this could arise. Because you might be saying to yourself right now, well, that makes perfect sense and it's kind of a no-duh thing that you can't have a foreign key that doesn't have any corresponding relation. How would that ever happen? Why would that be an issue? Well, it very easily can be if you're not careful. So. Um, stay tuned for that in the next video. In the meantime, study hard. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you uh, online.